When nature calls, our wastewater system is there for us. But once you go, where does the water go? Well, to underground pipes that lead to the wastewater treatment plant. If you're a really large system, it could take the better part of a day for a gallon of water, once it leaves your home, to even make it to a wastewater treatment plant. This is the Mason Farm Wastewater Treatment Plant, part of the Orange Water and Sewer Authority, or OWASA. The system has about 400 miles of pipe, carrying wastewater to the headworks. All of the uh, wastewater that comes to Mason Farm is coming from our service area in Chapel Hill and Carborough in parts of Orange County. As you take a shower, wash your clothes, wash your dishes, flush the commode, that wastewater enters a series of network and pipe uh, that extend through that service area and all of it eventually makes its way to the end of the pipe here at Mason Farm. The wastewater flows deep into the bowels of the plant. Then it's pumped up and away, leaving a lot of solid material down at the bottom. People use their toilet like a trash can, unfortunately. And that is something if I could, you know, send out a, an admonition to everybody is to not throw things down the commode that you could put in the trash can. And what I mean by that is things like dental floss, Q-tips, hygiene products, uh, flushable wipes. Now the manufacturers tell you they're flushable, and yes, they will flush when you push the handle, but unlike toilet paper, they don't break down, and that causes problems for us here at the treatment plant and the collection system. So uh, for all the viewers out there, please don't flush those down the commode anymore. And you're also in hot water if you put grease down the drain. Once it cools, it can clog pipes, requiring very expensive repairs. Just put it in a jar or can and throw it in the trash. And don't leave valuables near the commode. We've had folks call asking if we found their wedding ring. Uh, we've had uh, folks that said their dentures went down the, down the toilet. Um, money has come in here. Gives the new meaning to the word dirty money, I guess, <laughs> but um, bed sheets. Bed sheets? Yes, um, don't ask me how they go down there, but. Large items are filtered out through a bar screen. The screen also catches non-biodegradable material like coffee grinds or corn kernels. And then that filtered water heads to settling tanks. And it's there that wastewater treatment goes all natural. From that point on, it's totally biological. Uh, that's when it goes into the heart and soul of the system. It turns out nature already has an ingenious wastewater treatment system. Microscopic organisms that live in water love to eat waste. So for them, wastewater is a liquid buffet. If you've ever been uh, in a river, a creek, and picked up a log, a rock, a stone, you notice there's this uh, goo growing on it. If you were to take that uh, goo and look at it under a microscope, you would see that there are naturally occurring organisms that are very similar to those that you would find in a conventional wastewater treatment plant. So we are mimicking what is going on in nature. For most of human history, wastewater was simply thrown into a river or lake, counting on dilution as the solution to treating wastewater. If you've had, got a very small uh, amount of input into the water system, then Mother Nature can absorb some of that just like she does with animal waste and so on and so forth. It's when you concentrate it that it becomes an issue and that there's not enough um, dilution there to take care of that. That's when sewer treatment plants were built using nature's system but adding technology that speeds up the process. And the only thing we provide is air. We provide them a place to live and give them air to breathe and then they grow and reproduce and use the food in the wastewater to grow and reproduce. Eventually, the solid matter is piped off and the now mostly clear water is sent to its final settling tank. By the time the water reaches this stage, it is almost clean. There's only one stage left, disinfection. They use ultraviolet light to do that and the leftover solids are turned into fertilizer Biosolids are um, really an alternative, a natural alternative to commercial fertilizer. So we have a land application program that we land apply that, those biosolids at agronomic rates on local farmland. So really, there isn't much waste in wastewater. 
wastewater should no longer be thought of as a waste. It really is a resource. The water that goes in uh, to the receiving stream is, is of a higher quality that's in the receiving stream uh, that it's going into. The biosolids are a resource to the farmers that don't have to buy commercial fertilizer. Um, we also take a portion of our wastewater, uh, our treated wastewater, our effluent, and we send it into our reclaimed water facility. Owasa has a purple pipe recycling program. Purple means the water inside is not suitable for drinking, but it's very good for plants and industrial uses. Their biggest customer? The University of North Carolina. So if you've been over to the campus or to the hospital and you enjoy those nice cool uh, air-conditioned rooms, be thankful that the Mason Farm is providing that, that water to keep that room cool. Um, the athletic fields over at UNC, all of that is being irrigated with reclaimed water from Mason Farm. That's tough for me to say as a state graduate, but uh, <laughs> we, we do provide UNC uh, reclaimed water. In fact, 30% of UNC's water is purple water, which saves money. But North Carolina's wastewater industry is facing some tough challenges, like how to come up with the estimated $4 billion needed to replace aging pipes and equipment. Our facilities were not meant to last forever, although they have lasted a very long time, um, some cases nearing 100 years now. And there is always the threat of drought. Our state suffers through them pretty frequently. So when the next one hits, we could do what western states already do, pump treated wastewater back up into the reservoirs. There's definitely a yuck factor that would have to be overcome. But I think most folks don't realize that when you're pulling drinking water out, there's very likely upstream somewhere there was a wastewater discharge. We would be putting that back through our water treatment facility, so therefore it would be treated in the same manner as any other um, you know, water source that we would have. The truth is all water is recycled wastewater because it's been cycling through living things since there were living things. Water treatment in North Carolina has come a long way since we dumped our raw waste into the river. In fact, many people around the world still do that. So experts say before you complain about your sewer bill, imagine life without this place for wastewater to go when you have to go. We're all in this together. We're, we're, this is not an us and them thing. And when they get their bill and they realize that where those dollars are going, that they're going to a useful purpose.